Nathaniel, the spokesman, Blues Hot, says 90% of Igbos outside land opposes secession. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The Northern Order spokesman, Dr. Hakim Baba Ahmed, on Monday released a statement during his interview with Trust Television News, tagged Northern Politics and Economic Agenda, revealed that 90% of Igbos outside Igbo land are against secession. While speaking with the possibility of the Igbo presidency, Dr. Hakim Baba Ahmed noted that for it to be possible, the aspirant must read the constitution because the constitution allows an Igbo to become president and he has to compete with everyone else within his party to get the presidential ticket and would have to get his party to field him, after which he would have to convince Nigerians to vote for him. Dr. Hakim Baba Ahmed noted that anything else is not acceptable. And an Igbo aspirant cannot intimidate the rest of the country by saying that if there is no Igbo presidency, there will be no Igbo in this country. He stated that someone who makes such assumption cannot be talking for the Igbos because 90% of the Igbos outside Igbo land does not support cessation. What do you have to say? So they're trying, they're now getting the story clear. So when you are all about talking, you know, you don't... Just like it's just like you're going to come and say the northern as all of them are bandits. Come on, come on now. That's not fair. And that is going to be that is going to be I'm going to pass that off as a negative remark, as an offensive remark. Exactly. Now I'm not saying the bandits, the terrorists and the and the indigenous people of Biafra are the same, but it is not whether I like it or not, it is not everyone that comes out. And say they, are, they want to. The people who they are sitting on the front. The people who don't want it. And he's totally correct. When you talk about cessation. If you talk about what happened before. You know during the. I hate to say this. During the 1967 to 1970. During the Nigerian Civil War. You will remember vividly that a lot of people that left their houses. That their houses were over. They lost it. They lost their houses, they lost their industries, they lost their businesses. If you remember vividly, they was lost a whole lot of things. So the stand to lose a whole lot. And most especially those people who stand to lose a whole lot. They are not in for this, you know, let us go, let us go. They are not in for it at all. And I've said it before. You see the, those who are screaming, let us go, let us go. This thing too is something that can be solved through dialogue, whether you like it or not. If the government gives a listening ear to these people, just like half of the year, half of the time, they spend dialoguing with terrorists and bandits and, you know, uh, the yes, terrorists in the northern region. If they spend half the time dialoguing with the southeastern people, you will see that what these people want, they don't, they don't even want land. They don't want money. They don't want more land. What they want is equity. Whatever is good for A is good for B is good for C and D and E and F as well. That's what they're talking about. Whatever is not good for A, for B, for C, is certainly not good. Whatever happens here, it should, you know, the way you handled it here, it should be the way handled there. There should be nobody above the law or below the law. Nobody should be superior or inferior. That is what these people are asking for. And so, I, I, that is why I keep saying dialogue can solve. You see the insecurity in the, in the southern region. Dialogue can solve it. Dialogue can solve it. And him coming out to say that, uh, it was a code. Somebody coming out to, I don't think for now, I don't think anyone will come out. I think people who come out to make such statements, now people, they even cause problem. There are people, I think, I want to believe Ohane. Ohane is indeed, but they come out to say, oh, is there an Igbo presidency or a session? Yes, I understand. But the thing is, the, the aspirant, those people who, are in the presidential race, such as, you know, who is a Southeastern? Okay, um, B2B. B2B is a Southeastern. I've not heard them sound that way for once. Never. I have not heard them. Oh, I stand to be corrected, but I don't think I've heard them. I don't even think he goes on air and he speaks about, you know, be a friend the likes. He does not. Him coming out, he's always, you know, about what he stands to bring to the table and how he's going to be going about it. That is all he does. That is all it does. All right. In fact, what he was asking for is a balance for tuition. Thank you. Balance. 
where all units are treated equal or a restructured nation where all units are encouraged to thrive on their own. Agitation for secession is a threat of bad governance. That is it. And these people self, they are governor, they are, they are leaders there. The Southeastern leaders are not helping matters. They are making matters worse. Like very worse. Very, very. It's just like you don't treat members of your family equally. You're a mother that you 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 kind of you this favoritism, you show it to one of your children. Whether you like it or not, it is going to be affecting them. Before you call, before you say Jack Robinson, if he's if you're not careful, it'll be causing hatred and breeding hatred. And then if, if you don't address it, it's going to cause big problems in the family. These people are not asking you for more. They're not asking you for land. They're not asking you for gold or silver. What they want is the way you treat Mr. A, treat Mr. B the same way. And the thing is, which thing they even fight for over there? What they fight for is actually for the benefit of everyone. Because <laughs> when I know that I want to treat my own person better, I will treat others better as well. If you look at himself now, now the good of everybody, now these people they fight for. So, correct. You're absolutely correct. If Nigeria is governed rightly, no one wants to session. Thank you very much. But if the nation is governed without the rule of law as it is governed now, with nepotism, tribalism, land occupation tendencies, religious problems, serious crimes and other ills, there must be secession quest. Exactly. I have said it that if I have somebody who will come in at the helm of affairs, the person comes in and it's all about he wants to do right by the people you know, he wants to he come and he's a unifier. He comes in what is good for the north, south, as maybe as the youth gets states, everything is created well. You understand? These ports now, these are ports that are not working, they start working. The refinery that's not working, no matter where they are, they start working. Or more. <laughs> I don't think anybody. In fact, if you come as I come and say uh, you are agitating, they will it is people that will beat you up. The people will tell you, Are you fine? You know, I be in conscience, are you are you sure you are okay? They will tell you. But it is because the government are not even they're not doing their own part. They're making some feel inferior. They're making some feel superior. That is why we're having these issues. And these people are like very simple thing. Just make everything equal. If you make everything equal today, and you know it is a law that things must continue like that. That anyone who comes into governance you know, the person has no choice than to make it like that, than to continue like that. Then I don't think we're going to have anyone coming out to say the Nugu Gri or the Nugu Gri. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>